All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 4 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm going to start off by dividing every term by 25 to the power of x. So I get 4 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x divided by 25 to the power of x. Now the 25 and 25 cancel out for 1, so now I have 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 4 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 4 over 25 to the power of x. And 9 to the power of x over 25 to the power of x turns into 9 over 25 to the power of x. From here, I can rewrite 4 over 25 as 2 squared over 5 squared. And I can rewrite 9 over 25 as 3 squared over 5 squared. And now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, remember, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 2 squared over 5 squared turns into 2 over 5 squared. And the same thing with 3 squared over 5 squared. So I get 3 over 5 squared. From here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So the 2 and x multiply. So I get 2 over 5 to the power of 2x plus 3 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 1. And this means that 2x is equal to 1. So now if I divide both sides by 2, I get x is equal to 1 half. So this is my solution. Please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this video. Bye. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 16 to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 2. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the power of 1 over 2x on both sides. So I get 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x. Now. If I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So we can use this property for both of these terms. 16 to the power of x to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to 16 to the power of x times 1 over 2x. And x to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 2x is equal to x to the power of 2 times 1 over 2x. Now, the x and x cancel out on my left-hand side because they multiply out. So I'm left with 16 to the power of 1 half on my left-hand side. And for my right-hand side, the 2's cancel out. So I'm left with x to the power of 1 over x. Now, my goal is to turn the left side to be in the form some number to the power of 1 over that number. So we can make that number our solution. Well, right now, this means that 16 and 2 have to turn into the same number. So we need to rearrange this so that 16 and 2 are the same number. So to do that, Sixteen is the same thing as four squared. So I'm going to rewrite it as four squared. 
So I have 4 squared to the power of 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now remember, these two multiply. 2 times 1 half is just 1. So I'm left with 4 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, 4 is the same thing as negative 2 squared. And 2, our exponent here, I can rewrite as 1 over negative 1 half. And I have this times negative 1. So I have 1 over negative 1 half times negative 1. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So this negative 1, I'm going to move to be an exponent of negative 2. So I get negative 2 to the power of negative 1 to the power of 1 over negative 1 half is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And negative 2 to the power of negative 1 is 1 over negative 2. So my solution here is negative 1 half.